All right, welcome back. In this lesson, as I promised, we're going to set up our port mirroring session, in this case, to my laptop. So we have this virtualized environment over here, just like we did in that drawing. And we have my laptop over here, which is essentially my jump box. So that's where Wireshark is running. So we're going to set up one of the encapsulated remote mirroring sessions to where it's going to take you know packets coming in and out of our VMs and send it over to our monitoring station in this lesson. So let's jump right in. This is gonna be a lot of stuff, but I promise once you do it once, it's really easy. All right, so here we are inside of our vCenter instance. Now, what I wanna do is set up a port mirroring session from this Debian-Linux-01VM to my laptop that I'm actually logged into here. So if we do things correctly, we should be able to see our ping traffic that we're going to generate to this VM. We should see that sent to this laptop right here. So just before we get into the actual configuration, let's go ahead and open up Wireshark. And I've got Wireshark listening here. Now I'm filtering for ICMP and we're seeing there is some existing ICMP traffic. So you know what, I'm actually gonna stop. I'll stop that and we'll start it up once we start the, the actual capture. But the point is I'm filtering on just ICMP so we'll have less noise inside of Wireshark. Now the implication here is that we're going to need to send this port mirror session, we're gonna set the destination or the target to this laptop IP. So let's find out what that IP is. We'll go down to our command prompt and let's just do an IP config, all one word. And this is Windows, by the way. Um, from here, let's go up. The actual IP we need is our physical adapter. That is right here. So that is 192.168. Dot two dot one ninety eight. So I will leave this here. I'm gonna actually minimize, but we can come back to that if we need to reference it. The point here though, is that's our destination IP that we're going to send our captured packets to. This is not a VM. So we are sending it from our ESX environment to a separate physical workstation somewhere else essentially. So let's minimize that. Again, we will come back to Wireshark. So let's go into vCenter and let's actually set up our port mirror session. Now to do it, it's really, really simple. The first thing we need to do is make sure that this VM is on a distributed port group. So let's go down here. We see it is on Mike's management distributed port group. So that's the one we created earlier in the, the course. So that's fine. Now to set up the port mirroring, we're going to actually go to our distributed switch. So to do that, let's go to our globe right here. And we're going to go to the distributed switch itself and over to configure. Now from there, we're going to go down to port mirroring right here under settings. We'll click that. Now we have the option to create a new port mirroring session. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and click that. Now remember we talked about those different types of sessions. It's really important that you understand the differences in those sessions, because if you don't, you're going to guess, you're gonna say, yeah, I think that one sounds good. You're gonna click it. And then you're going to realize that that's not what you were trying to do. So it's really helpful that you either remember what those are, or you click this I and you can cheat and it'll tell you right here. So you have a couple of options, but in our case, what we want to do is we want to mirror traffic from a set of distributed ports, in this case, just a single distributed port, to a remote agent's IP address. That is just my laptop. So that's what we're going to do. Like I said before, if we wanted to mirror traffic from one VM to another VM, we would do distributed port mirroring. And if we wanted to go to, you know, to mirror traffic from one of our VMs to an uplink of our host onto the physical network, we would do this one and so on. You can read, but the point is, just keep those different types in mind. So we are going to be doing the encapsulated remote mirroring source type of port session. So let's go ahead and click that one and we'll hit next. All right, we need to give it a name. I'm gonna just leave it to session zero. We could give it something useful, but we don't have any other sessions in our environment. So session zero is fine. Now you have the option to set it to disabled so you can create it and then you can review it if you want after the fact or, or you can even leave it there and just enable it when you need to troubleshoot, for example. That's one reason for this being there. Obviously in our case, we are going to actually use this right away. So I'm gonna set it to enabled. Next, we need to select the encapsulation type. So we have a couple of different types. As I mentioned before, we can do GRE or we also have ER span. 
I'm going to use GRE. In most cases, GRE will be fine, but if you need to if, you know, look at the other types, absolutely check out the VMware documentation to find out what is best for your environment. Like I said, in most cases, GRE will be just fine. So I'm gonna go with GRE and let's go down here. Uh, that looks good. We're gonna leave everything else to the default. Um, okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and hit next. By the way, real quick, actually, before we do that, um, sampling rate. This is if this is ultimately how, you know, if we see 100 packets, how many of those 100s, how often should we keep sending packets to that monitoring station? If we wanted to do it every five packets, we could do a sampling rate of five, for example. So that means we would skip a couple, send a packet, skip a couple, send a packet, and so on. In my case, I want to send everything, and that is the default. So every one packet that comes through, we'll send a copy to our monitoring station. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. All right, now this is where we get to the good stuff. We have to specify the mirroring source. This is what are you trying to capture traffic from, and then we will get into the destination. So in this case, we can see the distributed port ID. So this is, you know, in previous lessons, I showed you how to see a listing of all of your ports on your distributed switch. This is the only active port we have in our environment right now, which happens to be connected to Debian-Linux-01. We can also see the port group that it is connected to over here. We can see the status of that interface, the VLAN configuration, and even the host that it's currently sitting on. So we have a lot of detail here about this specific port. We can select multiple ports, that's perfectly fine. But in this case, obviously we only have one. So we're going to select this one. From there, we're going to go to next and hit that. All right, now we have to select a destination. And this is where a lot of those different types of sessions come into play. If we had selected a different type of session, we would, for example, have the option to select other VMs as the destination here. But since we're doing the encapsulated method, we're going to select add, and we just need to put an IP here. This is, again, going to be the IP of this laptop right here. So that is going to be this 192.168.2.198. So I'm actually going to just paste that in if, there we go. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to hit next. Okay, now we have the option to just review and see if there's anything else that we want to change here. And honestly, everything here looks fine. So we took care to make sure we, do it the, we were doing it the right way. This looks good. Let's go ahead and hit finish. All right, so that session is running. We see status is enabled. So now the next thing we need to do is first of all, go start Wireshark. And also we wanna generate some traffic. So I am going to, let's see, let's go into our Debian Linux VM and let's log in here real quick. So I'm gonna generate some pings to 8888, which is just a uh, public DNS server. So I'm just gonna start those pings. I'm doing that because I wanna make sure we have some ICMP traffic that we can see in Wireshark. So at this point, if you're keeping track, we set up that, that port mirror session, we set it as a destination to my laptop, and we've now got some traffic coming in and out of that VM. But if we wanna see it, we need to go to Wireshark. So let's go to Wireshark, and I'm going to restart our capture here. And there we go. So I'm gonna stop it right there, that was quick. So you see there, we see source is coming from 172, 16.254.48. Look in the background here. That is the IP address of our Debian VM. We see destination is 8888, which is our destination. We see the return traffic from 8888 back to our VM. And then we see that pattern repeating. We additionally see the type of protocol. In this case, it's ICMP, which is what I'm filtering on. There's some really cool stuff you can do with Wireshark. So if you're not familiar, you can filter and do all kinds of really impressive stuff. But that's really all I wanted to show you in terms of how to configure a basic port mirror session. At this point, we could then disable it, enable it when we need to troubleshoot. We can delete it, create different types of sessions, but they're all pretty self-explanatory once you know what I've just shown you. So that said, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next lesson.